was hunting slew the Raja of Rampur, and the stroke of its paw has changed the destiny of Robert Grant, a young American who bore a strange resemblance to the Raja. To save the Raja's people from the evil intentions of Prince Dakar, who plotted to seize the throne, Grant assumed the dying ruler's identity until the rightful heir could arrive and take command. Dakar's confederate, a hunter named Harris, accused Grant of having murdered the Raja. Proof of Grant's innocence exists in the form of a letter written by the Raja, which Grant has just recovered from Harris after a long chase through an African jungle. Grant tells his story to Commissioner Wainwright of the Secret Service, who agrees to send him back to Rampur with the letter so that he may be cleared of the murder charge and expose Dakar's plot against the throne. That night, Wainwright is murdered in his office and the Rajah's letter is stolen from the safe. Grant, who is on the scene when the police arrive, is charged with the crime. Meanwhile, his friend Muriel Armitage, whom Wainwright arrested for the murder of a woman known as Mrs. LaSalle by an elephant which has seized her in its trunk. Why, I just came in when I heard the shot. You can tell that to the authorities. Noise. I'm the only one around here that can help you. Oh, Mr. Harris, please. I'll make him let you go when you tell me where those diamonds were found. Oh, I'll tell. I'll tell. Call off that beast, Harris. Quick. Proper for all. we met Grant, you relieved me of a letter signed by the Raja of Rampur. I want it back. I gave it to Wainwright. Wainwright? Yes, and must he put it in the safe? He was murdered tonight, and the letter has disappeared. Then why did you turn the evidence over to him? Because I wanted to be sent back to Rampur, so that my part in that affair could be cleaned up. Yeah, then what are you doing here? I thought you had stolen the letter, and I was after it. Well, that's a far-fetched story, Grant. I'm going to take you to Wainwright's office and see if you're telling the truth. I can't go back there. They suspect me of the murder. All the more reason why you should go back. Drop it, Toto. Now, oh, get moving. Drop that gun, Harris. Drop it unless you want this gun to speak. Maybe you'd understand that kind of language. Now, Grant, take that pistol and make yourself scarce. Harris, travel in the other direction. That foreigner sure made fools of us. We'd better double back. He may be hiding somewhere. Muriel. Muriel. I came to tell you that Wainwright has been killed. I know. I heard you tell Mr. Harris. I wanted you to know that it was your gun that shot him. In case you're asked, don't let anyone know that I gave Tom the gun yesterday. You don't think Tom did it, do you? Where is he? He has disappeared. But I'm sure he didn't kill Wainwright. Whoever did it was after the letter that was locked in the safe. Well, who could it possibly have been? There are only a few of us know about the letter or the diamond. It couldn't have been Harris. Well, what about the man with the black glasses? I'm afraid we can't suspect him. He saved me from Harris just now. 
That leaves the old lady. Mrs. Colby? Oh, she's the one person who didn't do it. She's a Secret Service agent. Mrs. Colby, a Secret Service agent? Hmm. That's strange. She asked me not to say anything about it to anyone. I shouldn't have betrayed her confidence. It'll go no further. That leaves Peterson. He's the one I'll have to go after. I must go now. The police are after me. Yeah, one ticket on the boat to Calcutta. When she shall sail. Ten o'clock, that's been good. The name been Peterson. Olaf Peterson. No, no, Peterson. P A T A L S O N Peterson. Yeah. Good morning, Mrs. Colby. Good morning. And no thanks to you that I am here to say it. If it hadn't been for Mr. Peterson, who took pity on me yesterday when you ran away and left me in that Arab camp, goodness only knows what would have happened to me. You were going in to see Mr. Peterson? I was, until you came along. Come in. Time to fetch your bags. I didn't come for your bags. I didn't know that you were sailing. Harris! You're the man I want to see. Where are you running off to? When they boat, she think they lose all my animals, and I got to go to India to get some more tigers. Uh, by the way, uh, could you let me have some lions on credit? Oh, I guess that could be arranged. They picked him up on the way back and uh, pay you as soon as they deliver them to the New York Zoo. Quite an affair last night, the murder of Wainwright. Yeah. Who do you suppose did that? Come in. The baggage has been all ready to go. Never mind the baggage now. I call you when I want you. You will have to excuse, please. The steamship ticket they have to go see about. Sure. I'll see you before the boat sails. Yeah, yeah. I hear take a chair. You been sent for me? Yes.
Malcolm's request for the Rajah's letter. Thank you, Alex. Good. Then it was you who murdered Commissioner Wainwright last night. No. Someone shot him from the window when anyone shot the safe. How did you know that? Think you in the matter of a throne? My master leaves anything to chance? There never was a time when thy movements were not checked by other agents. The letter, please. What you do? Fool, dost thou not know that the whole virtue of this paper is the secret writing on the back? Hmm. Strange, there is no reaction. This should bring out the disappearing ink. This is not the real letter, it's an imitation. Not the real letter? How do you know that? Because if it were, the secret writing would appear. I don't understand that. Did I spend the paper that was in the safe? Grant stole it from Harris and then gave it to Wainwright? There you have it. Harris set a trap and Grant walked into it. Harris must still have the real paper. That Harris been a slick fowler. Then go and get it. If thou wouldst claim the reward my master offered. Yeah, I get it. Stay where you are, and don't make a move. You might be able to fool Peterson, but you can't fool me. I've been listening to your hocus pocus about this disappearing ink, and it hands me a laugh. I know that's a real letter, and I want it. Produce that letter, quick. I threw it in the basket. I saw you throw it in the basket, but this is another new trick of yours, and you're not going to get away with it. You tell me where that letter is, or you'll never get out of this room. took that letter out of the basket, and he's now at Harris's compound. Hello. Hello. So, this is just a new game, Harris. You knew Peterson took that letter all the time, and is now at your compound. Sit down in that chair. your hands behind you. I'll see that you don't need a fear this time. If I were sure that Peterson had that letter, I'd finish you right now.
I have a message for you. You may not remember me. I am a confidant of Mustafa. Yes? My master has a proposition for you. Mustafa seeks the location of the diamonds. In exchange, there's a pepper to offer, which you know is of great value to Mr. Grant. And why do you think I'm interested in anything concerning Mr. Grant? It is no secret that Mr. Grant has helped you and your brother out of many difficulties. See, my master trusts you. Now, tell where the diamonds are hidden. Well... A real paper with the Rancha signature. The paper that Chan threw in the wastebasket was the real letter. You let him picture you, fool. You call me fool, but I ain't been fooling now. Hold him, Peter, son. <laughs> 